Now, the federal government has defended the disbursement of 1.14 billion naira for the purchase of 10 SUVs for the Republic of Niger. Minister of Finance says the decision is to enable Niger to safeguard her territory in the best interest of Nigeria's security. Also, Nigeria's Information Minister, Lai Mohammed, has assured Nigerians that the 2023 elections will hold and the country will be secured. Adeswa here has all the details. A document from the Ministry of Finance showing that the president approved the release of fund in February 2022 and a contract awarded to Kara Motors Nigeria Limited to supply the sports utility vehicles for the Republic of Niger is sparking outrage among Nigerians. Critics are questioning the priority of the government's funding of a foreign entity during an economic downturn. Fielding questions from State House correspondent after the Federal Executive Council meeting, the Minister of the Finance justifies the purchase of 10 Toyota Land Cruiser B8 vehicles for neighboring country Niger. Let me just say that over time, Nigeria has had to support its neighbors, especially immediate neighbors, to enhance their capacity to secure their countries as it relates to us. Uh, this is not the first time that Nigeria has uh, supported uh, Niger, Cameroon or Chad, and the president makes an assessment as to what is required based on the request of their presidents and such requests are approved and the interventions are provided. is to enhance their capacity to protect their own territory as it relates to security also to, in Nigeria. Well, Nigerians have a right to ask questions, but also the president has a responsibility to make an assessment of what is in the best interest of the country, and I, I cannot question that uh, decision myself. On his part, the Minister of Information and Culture responds to the alarm raised by the civil society groups over the threat of insecurity to the 2023 elections. Yes, it is true that um, some groups have been worried and concerned whether given the state of insecurity in the country, there can be elections. But I can assure you there will be elections because the federal government would do everything possible, not just to make sure this election, but to secure the country. I'm sure you, you heard yesterday from the president that the Commanders have been given everything they need and they've been given all the powers they need to bring this insurgency and this banditry to an end. Uh, as for the issue of oh, whether the service chiefs should uh, resign or not, I think only the, the, only, only the appointer can make such a decision. The council approved memos from various ministries, including the sum of 2.2 billion naira for operational vehicles and security gadgets for the federal capital territory, Abuja. 60 utility vehicles, including um, communication equipment installed in the vehicles, uh, at the sum of 1 billion 835 million 108,000. 613 Naira 95 Kobo. In addition to that, Council also approved supply of various security gadgets and accessories to support security agents in the FCT at the total sum of 847,139,764 Naira 57 Kobo. The weekly meeting began with the swearing-in of three new permanent secretaries to fill vacancies in the civil service. The hybrid meeting also had in attendance the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, who has been away recuperating from a surgery. Well, let's bring in the Rise News analyst, Mahmoud Jaga, for more on this story. Thank you so much for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you. Uh, when you hear the finance minister uh, defend or justify that purchase, mm -hmm. Did it come to you as a surprise? She said this is not the first time Nigeria is helping her immediate neighbors. It's not a surprise at all. 
and uh, it is not a shock. <laughs> what is shocking is uh, so many young people on social media mm -hmm. saying, why should you know, this is enlightened self-interest. Right. If you are Nibo, is not safe. You are also not safe. The criminals do not recognize any boundary mm. within or outside the country. What is the Nigerian jail border to a terrorist or to a bandit? They are going in and out. And we have this very long border with Niger Republic. Not only Niger Republic, but all our neighbors, Cameroon, uh, uh, Chad, and also uh, Benin uh, Republic. If uh, Nigeria is slightly better endowed than they are uh, resource-wise, and then we have all this criminality problem, we have to uh, uh, assist them. And as you know, some of the big... Uh, we, Nigeria also receives security assistance from many countries. I think about mm -hmm. two years ago, the Americans gave us a whole load of mine-resistant uh, APCs right. uh, to help us fight. And some give us security uh, training, some intelligence, some all kinds of uh, weapons. Some countries extend this, you know, to even countries very far away. I mean, like the Americans. They give nearly $5 billion in military assistance to Israel every year and $3 billion in security assistance to Egypt every year, among many other countries. And they regard it as being in their enlightened self-interest because if they don't stop the problems in the Middle East or in Asia, it will sooner or later come to their homeland. Right. Uh, not to talk of our border with Niger. Mm. Well, I mean, like you said, it's enlightened self-interest. Well, mm. th those who are questioning the, you know, the rationale behind this are saying, look, you keep telling us that Nigeria is broke. And, uh, you know, you have ASU asking for funds mm. and all kinds of, co you know, contending forces needing uh, financing in Nigeria. Mm. Is it priority, really? Uh, I mean, providing this SUVs, 10 of them to Niger, to what extent really can it uh, protect the country? Security is number one priority of any government. Because really, if you don't tackle that, everything else is not possible. Economic revival, even going to school and other things may become impossible. You know, it was the uh, American President Franklin Roosevelt who said, in justifying the American entry into the Second World War in Europe, mm. that if your neighbor's house is on fire mm -hmm. and you don't lend him firefighting equipment, sooner or later the fire will arrive at your own uh, 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 house. Mm -hmm. So that is the situation. So even if, let's say, we didn't have insecurity problems in Nigeria, it is only found in the Nigerian Republic. It is still in our interest to rush to their aid because sooner or later it will come here. Not to even say the fact that actually it is the insecurity in Nigeria that has spilled over into our neighbors. Boko Haram is essentially Nigerian, but it has affected Cameroon and Chad and Niger. Uh, and the banditry also, I can see that most of the bandits are really Nigerians. But to what extent but, really should Nigeria be playing a big brother we've always played big brother i mean not just in the areas of funding uh you recall ecomog liberia uh you know cameroon like you mentioned chad and all of those countries as a matter of fact nigeria has contributed 710 million dollars mm. uh, to ECOWAS, more than all the 13 you know uh countries put together because to what nigeria, extent really should we continue to well, play because this? nigeria is better and now you know even the contributions that member countries of the United Nations make is, is unequal. Uh, it is based on their GDP. It's calculated. So the Americans give about one quarter of the budget because they have one quarter of the world's GDP. And other countries like Japan and now China and the others, they also make large contributions. Similarly, uh, in the contributions to the African Union, mm -hmm. Nigeria is probably the single largest contributor because we have the largest economy. So we have to live up to our international responsibilities, not just in security, even if there is hunger in any boring country, you have to do something. Otherwise, uh, they will cross the border in millions and come here. Or it's a health problem like COVID yeah. or anything. So international cooperation, we have to continue to play our own But given part. the level of um, escalating insecurity, mm. uh, would you say that this self-preservation or mm. self-interest, uh, enlightened self-interest, self self mm. is still justifiable? It is justifiable. It will always be justifiable because, as we said, the political boundaries mm -hmm. <laughs> just exist, <laughs> you know, more or less on paper. With respect to criminality or to disease and to hunger and to environmental challenges, these borders do not uh, exist at all. So it will be very short-sighted of you 
to say that uh, well any problem that is not within so then, uh, 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 our borders we don't care i mean when covid came this, this fund just Niger, right. mm. uh, as the finance minister puts it she said it's camera and chat Jack. because those who have criticized mm. this report since they met say there's a fixation with the current administration when it comes to Niger. Mm. well uh, because we haven't seen the figures for similar assistance that nigeria has provided to the other countries i don't know whether it has but uh, it looks like the relationship with the republic has been closer and than with other uh, of okay. our neighbors but you remember when the late Chadian president he had a very close relationship with nigeria uh, uh, idris debi mm. uh, since the jonathan administration and in fact earlier <laughs> in the obasanjo administration because of course most of the security problem was in that region and people should also not forget we have the late chad uh, 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 meeting of uh, heads of state where mm. they fight together uh, try to assist each other right. the commission mm -hmm. uh, the, the, it has a security element uh, which is fighting all this uh, insurgency okay. and uh, other problems so right. i think it's a responsible thing to do and 1.14 1. 1. 1. billion, billion. Naira. It's a small amount of money i mean uh, well, not well, not a, not a an economy, economy such as nigeria, nigeria. exactly okay yes. all right we'll have to leave it there uh thank you very much mahmoud jega malam mahmoud jega joining <laughs> us on the arise <laughs> He's <laughs> <Good> nice. <night. laughs>